Mohammed. Great, thanks, Arthur. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I'm Mohammed Raymond. I'm the head of school for computing at Arden University. So I'm responsible for our provision across our undergraduate and postgraduate programs, which we offer in face-to-face uh, -face and online modes. So I have an overall responsibility for this, the suite of programs that we're going to be talking about today. Uh, I'll pass over to Hugh. Hello everyone, my name is Hugh Smith and I am the Deputy Head of School of Leadership and Management at Arden University. I will be talking to you later on about the pathway to our BA Honours business and I look forward to sharing some of that with you. Excellent, thank you so much for the introductions. Uh, now I would also like to introduce you to my Pathways colleague at Toronto School of Management, Simone Saar. Hi, hello everyone. I am Simone Saad. I am Academic Pathways Coordinator at Tison, and I am also a Tison former student. I recently graduated in Business Administration Diploma here, and now I am a full-time employee. And my job in Academic Pathways is help uh, my fellow students uh, who want to progress in their studies. And today we are presenting uh, the academic pathway to Arden University. And to start, I would like to highlight the benefits of academic pathways. Uh, through the academic pathways, um, students can um, progress into a bachelor degree or a master degree at Arden University. And the first benefit uh, to do that through an academic pathway is you will receive a pathway advising and application support from A to Z. So you can send me uh, an email with your questions. You can book a pathway consultation. Um, I will be able to assist you uh, preparing your documentation uh, for your application, do the follow-ups with Arden University. And the greatest benefit of the academic pathways is you will receive uh, transfer credits that you worded with your program at Tucson towards um, the programs at Arden University. Because of that partnership, of course, you will be able to save intuition. And uh, the last but not least, uh, other benefit that we have in academic pathways is these um, sessions and these webinars that we are constantly hosting. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to get to know better uh, the institution that you want to apply to. So we have this amazing opportunity to bring uh, all our then team, Urt, Mohammed, Hook, to explain better how does look like a study at Arden University and how uh, they conduct the, the programs there. So thank you very much everyone to join us. And I will pass the word to Suzanne. Thank you so much, Simone. Um, you're of great help with assisting our students, honestly. So um, any of you who may have a question, um, Simone will be there at the end of the webinar as well to share her email address with all of you. Sure. But if you have any questions regarding academic pathways or any other questions regarding studying in the UK or Canada, she will be able to help you. Now, <laughs> many of our students who are attending today are currently studying with us at TSUM. However, if you're currently not studying with us at TSUM and maybe you, you are still on the fence or you just need a little bit more information about our programs or our institution here in Toronto, Canada, I am able to just give you a brief background on our institution. So Toronto School of Management is located in Toronto. Uh, we are an innovative private college offering a broad range of career focused programs in either business, data analytics or technology, hospitality and tourism and accounting. Next slide, please. As I mentioned before, Toronto School of Management is located in the heart of downtown Toronto. So from our campus, you can honestly, you can walk to the CN Tower, which is our iconic building, as you may see at the, at the top image there. Um, the waterfront as well, it's a short subway or, or Uber right away. Um, the tramway 
literally stops right in front of our building and we're located in the middle of our financial and tourism hub, which means that while you're doing your co-op with us or even after school, um, if, you're, if you're able to, to work part-time, you are able to just stand, walk outside of our outside of our building and you're able to get anywhere within walking or tram distance. So it's very um, conveniently located right in the heart of downtown Toronto. Uh, we also have, even in the midst of the pandemic, things are slowly opening up right now in Canada. And so the Rogers Centre is actually hosting games again, so sport games. So if you're into that, um, we will be able to hook you up as well. Our student services department is very happy to uh, to take you on any sort of um, any sort of walking tours um, that we may offer at the moment. Next slide. Now, Toronto School of Management is part of Global University Systems, also short for GUS. Now, GUS is a network of institutions um, located globally with over 30 institutional brands and over 80,000 students worldwide. And not only Toronto School of Management is part of GUS, but also Arden University in the UK. And of course, we just held a round of introductions with, with Eartha, with you and Mohammed, and I'm sure that they'll be able to tell you a lot more details about this university in the UK a little bit later. Next slide, please. So what I would like to do is today we will be speaking about two different pathways. So after graduating from TSUM, you're able to start and continue your education at Arden University in the UK. And now today we will be focusing on two pathways. The first one is focused on TSUM graduate students from data analytics program. Next slide. The Diploma in Data Analytics Co-op Program at Toronto School of Management is approximately in length 52 weeks, which is a year, which means that 24 weeks will be in class and then 16 weeks of scheduled breaks in between those courses and in between the co-op. And after this 24 weeks in class, students will be able to continue their co-op for 12 weeks. Now, a co-op is basically essentially a field placement or an internship. Um, the reason why we call it a co-op is usually it is a paid co-op placement, which means that our students will be able to work for 12 weeks full time for 40 hours and our career services department will actually help them with obtaining a co-op in the data analytics field. It could be either with TSUM, but it could also be with any other company of their preference within Canada. And our department will, of course, assist however they can and try to get you um, the co-op placement of your dreams. Um, two things that I really that, that really stand out as part of this program is um, we are currently partnering with two industry partners for micro credentials, which the first one is Tableau and the second one is Amazon Web Services, which are high in demand currently in Canada, but also worldwide. Meaning that after you graduate from TSUM from this one year program, you are able to easily progress into either a work placement placement or actually continue your education within data analytics. And of course, that is what we'll all be talking about today is those opportunities. What happens after graduating from TSUM? Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Now, the other pathway program that I would like to focus on today is after graduating from TSUM in the business management program. Next slide. So the Diploma in Business Management Co-op um, consists of two years approximately. It's 109 weeks, um, but approximately it's going to be one and a half to two years. So 48 weeks will be in class, which is a year, plus 24 weeks of co-op. So with the data analytics program, um, students will be able to work as part of the co-op placement for 12 weeks and here it will be 24 weeks which is a full-time placement so the same thing as with data analytics it could be a paid placement and of course our our departments are going to help you out as much as they can with getting you that very good co-op placement um, graduates of the business management co-op program they're looking at um, positions or or rather um, field placements in any of 
any of the following positions. It could be a project coordinator, it could be in retail, it could be a business manager, account manager, office manager, human resources management, and that is just a few to name them. Um, one of the industry partners that we work with is Intuit QuickBooks. Now QuickBooks, the same thing as all the other uh, industry partners that we work with, it's high in demand currently in Canada, um, as well as in the UK. So it doesn't matter if you're actually only graduating from TSUM or you are going to continue your education in the UK with Arden University, all of those students will be able to take that learning experience, to take it with them and then progress to the UK and maybe do a master's of data analytics. Next slide, please. And now I would like to pass the word on to our partner, Eartha. Hi everyone again. Um, so just a bit about Arden University. So Arden University um, has been within the industry since 1990s uh, under a name uh, called RDI. Um, now in 2015, we've noticed a massive increase in uh, learners uh, wanting to study with us. And we've uh, received a degree awarding powers and we've started uh, giving out our own degree. So we've set up five campuses in the UK. As of this year, we've got six campuses in the UK. We've got a campus in Berlin, as well as our on ongoing um, numbers in learners wanting to study via distance learning. Um, now, what is distance learning and what is an online uh, learning? Distance learning essentially is a great opportunity for those that might want to study, um, you know, might not have all the time in the world, you know, might have other responsibilities, work, family, you know, you name it. So distance learning is for those that um, still want to study, um, and can do so online, uh, whatever they might be in the world. Um, now, you know, in terms of distance learning and how we um, progress with our students, um, all of the students would be able to access our webinars, seminars, live sessions. So essentially, it is similar like you would be studying on campus. The only difference is that you don't need to come in on campus. So all of the classrooms will be online. Um, you would be, you can study the same program, you know, in a year, in two years, or in three years, depending on your own availability. And you would be able to get full support from our student support team as well as our academics um, and a um, of course, uh, ongoing support from our platforms. Now, when studying online, each student would have access to our online platform called iLearn. Um, we would also um, have a full online library as well as currently partnered with Perlergo, an additional online library to have as much support as possible for our learners. Um, and of course, to support them um, with their academic resources um, and everything else. So this is in terms of, um, you know, studying online. It's quite exciting um, and it is quite, um, you know, attractive uh, currently. I know for, you know, with the current situation. So uh, it is a great opportunity to study and complete exactly the same degree as you would be completing on campus, just online. Uh, it allows you to um, access various opportunities and of course, complete a degree on the same time. I'm gonna pass on the um, <laughs> the, the message to Mohammed um, to talk more about the masters and of course, later on business. Thank you very much. Sorry, just on mute there. <laughs> uh, thanks very much. And uh, for those of you just joined, good morning. So yes, I just wanted to give you a bit of background as to, to my kind of uh, areas of expertise and my kind of career history. Um, so I've been working at Arden for the last uh, couple of years. Uh, prior to that, my career, was, it's been a bit of a mixed bag, really, because I started off working in the media industries, uh, in IT, publishing, graphic design, and so on, um, and then moved into, firstly, IT support, and then academia. So I went back to university, um, this time as a lecturer, uh, moved into senior lecturing, and then into management. Um, so the last 20 years, really, I've been working across a variety of programs at various levels, foundation, undergraduate, postgraduate. Uh, I'm very interested in how technology can facilitate learning. Uh, and as you can see there, I have been very recently a student myself, uh, having completed last year a PhD part-time, 
Uh, and that was actually looking around at mobile devices and how mobile devices are used in an educational context. So I was lucky enough to travel to China and Japan and interview students there about how they use mobile devices as part of their learning. Um, so just a bit of background to me really, but if we move on to the next slide, I just wanted to explain then in terms of our master's provision, what we're offering. And what we have is a range of master's courses that align data and data analytics. Um, and then you can see the bit after the end is aligned with a particular specialism. So it may be that uh, for some of you who are already working in, for example, marketing or in human resources management, you're looking to also supplement that with um, an understanding of how data can be used in those various contexts. So we have a core set of modules uh, in our, our data course uh, that focus on data design, data handling, and data visualization. And then you have those modules that align with the specialism after the end. So in terms of IT security, or in terms of marketing, or project management. Um, and many of our students, for example, are, are already working in those sectors but are keen to understand how to exploit data to make their job as, for example, a human resource manager uh, easier or as someone who works in finance or who works in marketing and a need to understand marketing metrics. So what the program offers is a combination of those two sets of modules so that you can uh, understand the relationship between the two and apply them within a specific context. Um, so for those of you that are interested in pursuing a career, for example, in marketing um, or are already working in marketing and want to validate what you already know, the master's programs are an ideal way of offering that validation, that qualification that backs up what you're already doing, perhaps, or the field that you want to enter. Um, at this point, I'll, I'll just pass over to Hugh so that he can explain the business programs. Thank you, Mo. Hi again, everyone. Uh, my name is Hugh, and I've been working at Arden as a permanent employee for about a year and a half now in managerial role. But before that, I worked with um, the university as an associate. So I've taught across the undergraduate, postgraduate programs, and also dissertation supervision at both of those levels, as well as, well as being involved in various uh, projects at the university. But my career initially started in banking. So I worked in banking for about 20 years, which um, seems like a long time and even seems like a long time ago. Um, so that gave me a lot of um, customer service, financial skills, which I've uh, kept with me throughout my career. But as I was working in banking, uh, I was working with a lot of businesses who were developing, sometimes in trouble. And that got me interested in the tourism sector because a lot of the businesses that I dealt with were hotels and restaurants, etc. So from there, I then did another degree and uh, focused on tourism. And from there, started working at university here in Glasgow. And I've also taught in universities across Europe as well. And that developed uh, my interest in just continuing my academic career, as well as keeping in touch with what's going on in industry. So that's a little bit about me. If we go on to the next slide, please. And I'll give you some information on our Bachelor of Arts in business. So as Eartha explained earlier on, all of the, the degree that you would be coming on to, you'd be coming on to level five, which we call level five, which is the second year of our bachelor's degree. And then also completing level six, which is the honors year um, and third year, as we would say. So the degree is delivered online. So it's using our iLearn platform, as Eartha explained earlier. So although for many of you, you may be working um, elsewhere or doing something else in your life. So it's a totally flexible approach to study, but it's not a lonely approach. So some students do quite like working on their own and don't really need anyone else around. But I think for the majority of students, they do like the, the contact. And that is, of course, nowadays, so easily achievable uh, with online study. So there's lots of opportunities for you to interact with your lecturer and other students on Zoom sessions, just as we're doing now. But also each of our lessons has lots of 
activities in them. So it's not just a matter of reading and watching and being very passive in your learning. We want you to be active learners. So you'll be discussing, you will be doing group work. And some of our assessments are also based on group work. And nowadays with virtual teams being based all around the world, we think this is a great skill for students to, to complete. Yes, it's challenging, but the vast majority of students find it really rewarding to do that type of work as well. So a lot of it will be based on individual assessments, but also there will be some room for group assessments as well, and also group work as you make your way through the, the various activities in the modules. So what kind of things will you be doing? Well, as you can see here at level five, we've got a range of different topics here. So managing across cultures, uh, and I think a, an important module for us to appreciate nowadays in our global working environments. And that links quite nicely into a level six module that you can see there called international management that builds on that topic in a bit more depth. Topics like business processes have a focus on building your project management skills. And we've also got that little module there on enterprise and entrepreneurship, which is quite an exciting one for those of you that have ideas for starting your own business and taking things further, maybe a family business you've been involved in before or you know, something else uh, where you've got an idea for change management. Of course, nowadays, so many different aspects and our world are impacting on businesses and, you know, especially in my area of tourism and hospitality, it's been a very, very challenging year for all of the businesses there. So having an understanding of topics like strategic management and how to plan ahead and how to adjust for change are really important nowadays for businesses to, to grasp. We also have a module, the Managing Self and Other Ones at level six which is again is an important thing for us to, to encourage us to stop and think about what we're learning and what we've achieved and how what we've done in the past can help us to change in the future and learn from our mistakes. Because sometimes that's where we learn most, isn't it? You know, where we make some little errors along the way. The final module is the, the biggest module. That's the research methods and dissertation. And of course, that's always an exciting one for students because that's where you get the chance to do some research on a topic of your choice. So you'll work on a one-to-one -one basis with a dedicated supervisor. That supervisor may also have you sort of forming a little team where you can work with other students who are also doing their own dissertation so you can share the experience and learn from each other. So we think we've got an exciting program for you and I hope it's something that you'll give some consideration to and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have later on. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, all three of you, for providing us with such a detailed description of the university, uh, the expectations for students, as well as the master's and bachelor's program. Thank you so much. Um, now, in the following slides, I am going to explain to you how this pathway works exactly and which benefits you will be receiving as a new student when you start your studies at Arden University. Now, as I mentioned before, there's two pathways, academic pathways that I would like to highlight today. The first one is the TSUM Diploma in Data Analytics towards the Master in Data Analytics at Arden University, meaning that once you have graduated from that diploma at Toronto School of Management in Data Analytics, you will be able to progress and continue your studies at Arden University. Now, how this works exactly is once you have studied that Diploma in Data Analytics at Toronto School of Management, which is 52 weeks in length, so one year, you are able to progress into that Master's in Data Analytics at our university. Now, one thing that is very important to highlight here is because you will be studying as a new student at a Master's uh, level, of course, a UK accredited undergraduate degree is required. Now, if you don't have any bachelor degree at the moment, we are able to look into like any diplomas and any other degrees that you have currently. So if that's the case, please do send them to us and I will be able to provide you with an, with an uh, email address to our department and we will look into any transfer credits, any sort of um, degrees that you have. And we're able to, to tell you right away if you do indeed need to take that UK accredited undergraduate degree or if your current degree will be sufficient in order to start your master's in data analytics. 
Now, your program at Toronto School of Management will be in class here at Toronto campus in Canada. Now at Arden University, it is a fully online master's program. So this is basically both pathways and the business one I will, I will explain later, both pathways are perfect for students who are currently, let's say in Canada, they're studying with us at TSUM or they just recently graduated and they would like to either stay here in Canada or they would like to go back to their home country and just study online. You don't actually have to be physically present in the UK at Arden University to take this master's. So that is one of the things that is very uh, flexible for our students. Not everyone would like to continue their studies physically at a campus after already having moved to Toronto. So besides that benefit, because you will have taken and successfully graduated from TSUM at that one year diploma program, you will be now exempt from three modules which is the equivalent of 60 credits, okay? So that means that once you're taking that master's at Arden University, you will only be required to complete three modules because you're already exempt from three of them, which is the equivalent of 60 credits plus the dissertation of 60 credits. Now, if you have any questions about the three modules or about the dissertation, please do drop them in a the chat box or ask them uh, to them after during the Q&A session, because I'm very sure that Mohammed will be very happy to explain that to you. Um, so what this means exactly is two of the main benefits is one that you will be able to complete your diploma program at Toronto School of Management and a full master's degree at Arden University in between two and two and a half years, which is unheard of. Usually master's degrees are already one to two years, plus a diploma program of one year, which makes it three to three and a half years. Now, right now, you will basically be exempt from an extra six months of studying because you won't have to take those three modules. Now, on top of that, because, which is the second main benefit, because you won't have to take those three extra modules, you will be saving highly in tuition. So the savings are approximately three and a half um, thousand pound, which is the equivalent to approximately 6,200 Canadian dollars. Tuition fees will have to be paid in pounds, but of course I can help you out and, and our partners as well at Arden University just to give you um, the exchange rate of that certain day that you will be transferring your tuition prices. And so after that savings of $6,200 Canadian dollars, your total tuition for the entire master's program is only 12,300. Now, let me tell you from my experience is whenever you're doing a master's and it could be in Canada, it could be in the UK, it could be anywhere in the world, 12,300 Canadian dollars for a full master's degree in data analytics, which is a very uh, high in demand topic at the moment worldwide is again, unheard of. So this is a very good opportunity for our students. Um, you may have a question um, if because you're taking this program in the UK with Arden University as a fully online program, will I be able to apply for a postgraduate work permit in Canada? No, because you're continuing your studies in the UK rather than in Canada, you won't be able to apply for the postgraduate work permit. But however, if you have any questions about immigration, let's say you have any questions about how to extend your study permit in Canada or how to extend, let's say, any sort of other residency permit, please do send us an email um, and I'll be able to, to drop that email address very shortly in a chat box um, because we do have some immigration advisors here in Canada who are able to help you. Um, our partners as well in Arden University, they will be able to tell you exactly what is needed to start your uh, degree fully online at Arden University. Um, but it, it's, it's a quite rather um, simple um, process. So we're able to, to help you through that. Now, the second pathway that I would like to highlight, next slide, please, yes. So the second pathway that I would like to highlight is our business pathway program. So after you have successfully graduated from Toronto School of Management Diploma in Business Management Co-op of two years, you're able to continue your education at Arden University with a Bachelor of Arts in Business, as you just explained. Next slide. 
So as you just explained that level five is considered to be their second year of their Bachelor of Arts in Business and level six is, is, is considered to be their third year, which means that if you successfully graduate from your business management co-op diploma at Toronto School of Management, you'll technically be exempt from the first full year, which is level four. So you will be exempt from taking 120 credits, which means that there are only um, remain to be completed 240 cre credits, which is the same as two years of a Bachelor of Arts in Business. Now, a bachelor's generally, worldwide speaking, will be, if you do an accelerated bachelor, it's usually between three and three and a half years, but mostly in general, bachelors can only be com completed within four years. So because of this pathway, because you're exempt from your first four years, and the online bachelor is already given as a three years, you can complete your bachelor in as little as two years. Now add on a Toronto School of Management Business Management Diploma, you can combine both credentials in as little as four years. So within four years, which is the general time to only complete a bachelor's, you will and have graduated from an undergraduate diploma in business management at Toronto School of Management in Canada, plus a full bachelor degree, accredited UK degree at Arden University. Now your savings, because um, you'll be exempt from the first full year, your savings will be approximately 8,300 Canadian dollars. And so your total tuition for only the bachelor is approximately 16,500 Canadian dollars, which again is a great opportunity for our students. Next slide, please. Now, I would also like to um, highlight all the benefits. Um, so for the masters um, in data analytics and the Bachelor of Arts in Business, you are able to receive two high standard academic credentials. So it's the diploma at TSUM plus the bachelor or the masters at Arden University. Now you can complete that undergraduate diploma and a degree within just four years, even a little bit shorter if you, if you consider that Arden uh, pathway uh, university. Um, you can become a highly desirable professional in both Canada and the UK. And of course, this is not limited to just Canada and the UK. Let's say um, you would really like to, um, after having studied in Toronto and after having studied online at Arden University, let's say you would like to start a new career in Europe or in Asia or somewhere else in North America, not a problem at all. We have designed these two programs at TSM and Arden University to make you a highly desirable professional worldwide, not just in Toronto, Canada or London, the UK. Now, because of this pathway, uh, because of all the exemptions that we'll be giving you, uh, you will receive savings in a value of approx approximately in between the 6,000 and 8,300 Canadian dollars. And one of the extra benefits, which I haven't highlighted yet, is that you will be exempt from taking outs. So of course, in order to study with us at Toronto School of Management, you will be required to meet the minimum English admission requirements, which could be in the form of IELTS, Duolingo, and, and a lot of other um, English language uh, proficiency tests. But after you've successfully graduated, we understand how much of a hassle it is for students to retake outs again, because outs is only uh, valid for two years. So just to um, basically free you from any of those future hassles is we're going to say no outs required. So after graduating from TSUM, you will not have to provide us a proficiency for language anymore in order to start your degree at Harding University. Next slide, please. So now we have covered um, all the details about Arden University, both programs. Um, thank you so much, Mohamed, and you for highlighting uh, the Bachelor of Arts in Business and the Master of Data Analytics. Um, I saw a few questions in the chat box um, that were raised by Stacy, um, and I would like to encourage all other students please do drop any questions that you have in our chat box. Um, and I'm going to type the our um, Pathways um, department email address right now. So everyone can please feel free to send any questions you may have to this email address. It's academicpathways at torontosum.ca. Once you have done so, either Simone or myself 
most likely, Simone, we'll be able to give you customized study advice. So if you have any bachelor's degree from back home, you're not so sure if it will be accepted towards entrance at, at your master's for Arden University, please send us all of your transcripts. Simone will be able to highlight all of those transcripts with Eartha and we're able to give you a customized study plan. So that being said, um, Eartha, would you mind to cover the questions that Stacy raised with me? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, hi, Stacey. Um, so just to answer your question, so in total, your degree would be four years, as Suzanne mentioned, but the your degree with an Arden University would take only two years. Now, sometimes because it is online learning, um, you can completely complete it a bit faster. Uh, but the majority of the time it is uh, for the level four, and, sorry, for the level five and six to be completed within the two year gap. Um, sometimes it can take longer, uh, depending on each of the learners availability. As we understand it is business uh, distance learning. So it is part time education, um, where the students can access their studies at their own time. And in regards to the campus, um, because it is distance learning, you wouldn't have access to the campus because uh, majority of our campuses, as I mentioned, are in the UK. Uh, we do have campuses abroad, uh, such as Berlin. Berlin. However, the, uh, the learning mode that you would be studying is um, specifically via distance learning. Um, I can see, let me just check, there's more questions. And please do let me know if you would like me to uh, to step in with any of the questions that they have. Yeah, I think this one might be for you, Suzanne. If you get a job and uh, still simultaneously do the Arden online degree program, uh, I think that we would need to check um, with the immigration and whether obviously if you are from outside Canada and you need a specific visa to, to stay within the country, um, I would need to check with Suzanne and perhaps your team whether that's something that you would still be able to do and study online degree program with Arden. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, Stacey, seeing as this is a very um, detailed question, um, I can provide you with a detailed um, explanation on all of the possible visa options to stay in Canada after graduating from TSUM. Now, in general, how it works is after you study and you graduate from TSUM, and let's assume that you are indeed an international student and so you're not domestic right now in Canada, you don't have a permanent visa to stay in Canada, is after graduating, your study permit will basically expire after graduating from TSUM. Now, either you um, extend your study permit because let's say you're going to a continuous education in Canada, but if you're studying at Arden University in the UK, even though it's online, you will have to explore other visa options because you can only apply for a study permit within Canada with the Immigration Canada if you are indeed studying in Canada. So if you're not going to study in Canada with a Canadian institution, we will explore other visa options for you. So please do send us an email to academicpathways at torontosum.ca. I did drop the email address in the chat box. Once you have done so, Simone is able to reach out to an immigration advisor and we can look into the options for you. Okay, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we have you covered and we can explore all the options with you. Um, I see that Enos also um, had a, yes, yeah, sorry. go for it, Eartha. No, I was just going to say, uh, Stacey, just to add to uh, Suzanne's response, uh, you know, whichever the outcome would be, you can still study online. Um, you know, studying online, you can study at any time, at anywhere in the world. We've got lots of students that are doing their gap year and studying with us. We've got, you know, lots of professionals studying with us because distance learning is just so flexible uh, and so easy to access. As long as you've got Wi-Fi, you're really good to go. <laughs> um, so you know whichever the outcome uh, would be in terms of staying in Canada you can still do it um, and sorry just to go back to you Suzanne you're saying yeah, no worries. So I also wanted to highlight that I know a lot of students right now who are um, internationally actually flexible learning elsewhere. So 
um, instead of just staying in Canada, they have actually decided in, in the midst of, of the COVID-19 pandemic as well to go home or to go elsewhere. So let's say, let's take a gap year in Spain. And from there, I will take my online degree at, at, at Arden University. Nowadays, there is numerous, like hundreds of opportunities for our students. And the only thing that we can do as educators is giving our students all the flexible opportunities to study across borders. It's not necessarily because you've studied with us in Toronto, Canada, at Toronto School of Management, that you necessarily have to stay here. If you would like to take a gap year from Canada or even to go back home, go back home and just study, start your, your studies at Arden University, your bachelor's or master's, you can complete it as little as, as, as one and a half to two years. And from there on, we can help you again if you would like to come back to Canada. So thank you so much, Arthur, for highlighting that. Um, yeah, I, I've seen across my own experience with students is there is so many opportunities for them out there as long as they have all the information needed. And it is a great way to, uh, to continue your education. Go for it, Arthur. Yeah, sorry. So um, just to answer to Ines, any pathway available for the one year diploma graduates of the business administration? Um, now, as far as I'm aware, uh, at this moment in time, that would be a no. However, um, in terms of Arden University, we do have one year programs. So it is a top up program. However, in order to be eligible for that program, you um, you have to have completed a level four um, and a level five equivalent with in a similar uh, program. So uh, let's say if you've completed, you know, um, business administration and it covered, you know, level four and level five, the um, within this, uh, and you would want to go into business top up, that may be a possibility. Um, so that is the only one year uh, option uh, that would be available. And of course, our master programs, they're all one year to one year and a half um, when it comes to pathways. Uh, on the completion of your um, current qualification. So yeah, let me let me add to that, Earth, if you don't mind. So um, Ines is asking regarding the one-year diploma program at TSOM, which is the business administration. So it's essentially the first year of the business management diploma program. So she is wondering that if I only take business administration, which is considered to be half the length of the business management diploma program at TSOM, will I also be eligible for this pathway? So essentially the first answer is not exactly because right now how our pathway is built is that business management diploma program uh, graduates will receive those exemptions of certain courses towards um, the, the program at, at Arden University, which is the Bachelor of Arts in Business. However, that being said, is any education you have worldwide worldwide may help you to receive some exemptions. So I know that Arden University, same thing as Toronto School of Management, we're very flexible. And so if you have any sort of other education from back from back home, let's say high school, a bachelor degree, another diploma um, undergraduate program, or the diploma of business administration, please do send us the transcripts. What I can do is Simone and Ertha will, will look into your transcripts and your diplomas and they can um, kind of review if you're eligible for any transfer credits or any sort of course exemptions, okay? So essentially, there's not a pathway set up for you. However, we can research and explore the options for you to receive some exemptions. So please send them over by email. I hope that helps. <laughs> Go ahead, Ertha. Uh, I think Stacy um, had uh, mentioned trying to reach out. So I'm sure the team will be able to reach out to you, Stacey, um, and, and discuss uh, any answers to your questions. Um, um, Mo, yeah, <laughs> Mo just answered the question <laughs> um, for us. Um, any other questions that you, um, for those that joined uh, this webinar, do you have any other questions that you might have in terms of the studies? Um, or anything that you would want to go over in more detail um, while we're here and you've got that opportunity. <laughs> 
absolutely. So one thing that I also um, sent to Stacy is when you have a question regarding academic pathways is please send an email at academicpathways at Um So I see that I just misspelled our email address. I'm so sorry about that. I added an extra Z. Um, so there you go again. So Stacy, whenever you send an email to, let's say, our generic um, info mailbox, so info at torontosum.ca, we have so many students reaching out, potential students, um, that sometimes it takes up to three business days for our team to get back to you. Now, seeing as, and I think you are a current student at TSUM or maybe a prospective student, if you want to know more about specifically the academic pathways, just send an email to Simone. Okay, so at academic pathways at torontosum.ca, she always responds to all of the students within 24 hours. Of course, the weekend's exempted, um, Saturdays and Sundays we don't work, and once in a while we have a public, um, public holiday on a Monday, but other than that, always within 24 hours, you will receive an acknowledgement email, and that's when Simone will start looking into study options for you. Okay, so if you have any questions, any questions about any sort of opportunities for you, business administration, business management, please do send her an email, give her all the details that you have. Where do you come from? What have you done in the past education wise? Um, is there a certain field that you would like to go into? Um, is there a certain focus that you're interested in? So master of data analytics, for example, send us everything that you know and everything you want to know and Simone is able to respond to you. Perfect, Simone, thank you so much. Um, I see that Victor raised his hand. Um, so Victor, if you would like to immute, unmute yourself and actually speak up in life, if you're comfortable with that, feel free to do so. Um, you can also just um, drop your question in the chat box if you, if you prefer that. Um, we're here to help. Okay, Victor says no, it's okay. Okay, perfect. Um, I think just to add, in terms of, you know, when you're studying online, I think the main worry for all of the students um, that we've got is, you know, I've never done this before. That's the first thing. How does it work? That's the second thing, you know, um, will I have support? So to answer all of these questions, it is quite straightforward. Um, I can, uh, you know, we've got a, um, if you go onto YouTube, we've got lots of YouTube videos on how to use iLearn, um, which is our platform um, for Arden University learners. Um, we've got lots of student testimonials, um, which answer the questions how to study uh, online, um, which can be sometimes helpful when, um, you know, you're not sure and you want to hear from someone that studied before um, with us already. Um, in regards to support, um, upon enrolment, each of the learner has assigned student support member um, to support them with their studies. The student support will check um, on the progression, whether they are progressing with their studies. If there's any issues, they will be the first point of contact that you can contact, ask for uh, support, whether it's contacting um, you know, tutors or whether it's something to do with your studies or even if it is um, just, you know, with any personal issues that you might be having, um, they're a really highly trained team and they can always support our students um, the best way they can. We also have full support from our academic team, uh, even studying through ILEN, um, when accessing webinars and seminars, you'll be able to um, meet other students that will be studying the same course as you. Um, on Ireland, you also have a forum with students and forum with tutors, um, so you can always ask questions, go inside to the um, to discuss your course of studies or even an assignment in more depth, and as well uh, support through our live chat, which will um, which is on Ireland. So anything, even if you know it's as simple as I can't find this book, how do I find it? The live chat team would be able to support you, direct you into the right direction. Um, and support you the best way we can. So you will receive that full support um, and you will have that face-to-face -face interaction online with your tutors and your peers. Um, the only difference is that you don't need to uh, access the campus to study. Um, but now these days, um, when you have Wi-Fi and online everywhere, you know, as long as you've got your phone with you and you've got access to Wi-Fi, you can access Ireland, go, go on to books, that, um, 
the um, new partnership that we've recently added, Palergo, even has an app. So if you are on the train or you're in a tram or you're trying to uh, get somewhere to work, you can go on to Palergo app. You can uh, find the book that you want to um, read and you can highlight, you can add comments, you can, you know, do your research on the goal as you go. So it's quite exciting. There's really exciting books, even if you would like to read them on the side of your studies as well, which I think is quite important. Um, you know, as a staff, we also have access to Per Lego, so I have been using it myself, and I think it's a great tool. I wish I would have had that in my university. So if you are worried about accessing or support in terms of, um, you know, your studies, you definitely won't have any issues in, um, with Arden University. Um, you will have a full backing from our student support and the academic team um, to help you throughout your studies. Amazing. I'm even enthusiastic to try it out. <laughs> it is exciting. It is really exciting. Um, it is really good tool. <laughs> um, and it has really, really good new books in there as well. So not just the, you know, research based, but really, um, really good tool. Definitely. I'm sure. Amazing. Yeah. You may um, be able to hook me up one day. <laughs> I can send you the link. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Mohammed, you, Eartha, anything to add for our students while we're wrapping up? Anything at all that comes to mind? No, just echoing some of uh, Erta's comments there about support. Um, and we have a number of, you know, uh, very experienced academics uh, across our modules that are very happy to provide that that contextualization uh, and support as you work your way through the assessments and obviously as you're thinking about on your master's program your dissertation we have lots of support there in terms of thinking about your working title the focus of your dissertation and then supporting you through that process with your supervisor um, so just echoing really that there's lots of support available and we do help you along the way to ensure that you succeed in your in your aims to to graduate with our master's yeah, and I think I would uh, echo uh, that as well, is that, you know, our, our tutors are, are friendly, helpful people, and uh, we just want you to reach out so you can email your tutors as well. And uh, we've got, you know, um, just like what we were saying earlier, no response times. We would normally come back to you within two business days. And uh, you can also send in, for example, some draft work for your assessments and get feedback um, throughout the session as well. So there's always someone there to contact. And my sort of network dropped a little bit there. So I wasn't sure whether Ursula mentioned our academic skills tutors as well. And so they have um, dedicated time slots for you to book in one-to-one -one sessions or attend group sessions for sessions on academic writing and, and voiding plagiarism and all that sort of thing. So there's this whole network available for you as part of the support teams. Amazing, thank you so much. Um, so first of all, I would like to thank you, Mohammed and Ertha, thank you so much. Um, I, I really enjoy working together with you and I'm very sure that um, you're going to welcome our, our future pathway students with open arms. Um, so thank you so much for providing all the details regarding the program, the university, um, and, and et cetera. Um, and I would also like to thank all of our students for joining. Thank you so much for taking these 60 minutes out of your day um, to participate in this webinar and to listen to our very uh, highly quiet qualified partners who, uh, together with Simone, of course, will be able to help you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Um, if you have any future questions, anything that you haven't covered right now, or maybe we have covered it, but you have a few follow-up questions, please reach out to Simone Saar at academicpathways at torontosum.ca. Um, and we are wishing you a very great rest of your day. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Great. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you so Bye. much. Bye-bye, all. Bye, everyone.